Hey, yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy, Lankway Warrior Kamau, and I'm back with another video. And today I am going to be reading from this book right here. My little sister bought me, shout out to her. And the chat that I am going to be reading is called Making the Most of His Gifts. My mom, who was a teacher, used to look out her students and see beyond the obvious recognizing their gifts and abilities, whether they saw them or not. She wanted to help them because become all that they could become, and she got results. When all, when all, we've all been entrusted with things that might not be obvious to ourselves or others as God's gifts. But he has shaped each and every one of us with abilities and interests and talents and distinct combinations and differing amounts that no one else has ever had in the past or will ever have in the future. We are unique in what we bring to the table. Thanks to him, we will not only bring us satisfaction and add something to those around us, but it will also glorify God. There is a reason he has created us unique for this particular time in history. He knows what the world needs and he has provided us with the gifts and abilities to address those needs for him. Like the man who entrusted his money to his servants in Matthew 25th chapter 14th verse through 21st verse. God expects that we will use the gifts he gives us not hoard them. And a similar story of ten servants in Luke 19th chapter 11th through 27th verse. One servant hoarded the money the noble mountain and trusted to him. He was afraid to use what he was given for fear he would lose it. How often has that happened? Fear has a way of creeping into our lives and keeps us from becoming all God created us to bear. Keeping us from using the gifts and abilities we were given. Fear of failure. Fear we will disappoint someone. Fear we don't fear we won't measure up. Fear is ingrained in us by a society that measures all the wrong things. God is measuring how we use the gifts He's given us. He's He measures how much we want to glorify Him and touch others whether we fall short or not.